What's up guys, welcome back to another classic car walk around here at Coyote Classics. And today, Chad and I are gonna check out and drive this beautiful 1937 Ford. Man, this Ford five window coupe Dalton is, is just awesome. I mean, I know grandpa absolutely loved this car. Oh yeah, I mean, it's just gorgeous. Uh, and it drives nice too, like, very driver friendly. I took it out the other day and had it going 60 down the blacktop and I mean, just purrs like a kitten. Jeez. For an all original car, guys, um, just a fantastic build on this 1937 five window. And by all original means, when they restored this car, they didn't uh, chop it or put a big old motor in it or nothing like that. I mean, they restored it to original. Um, and it shows. Yeah, listen to that flathead run. Three speed manual transmission, flathead V8 engine. They did go ahead and put the wide whites on it, which it would have come with the wide whites, but they went ahead and went with the radials, which is gonna make a drive so much nicer. Um, this is, I'm guessing this is probably a, a seven to 10 year old build. Um, it's got a couple little flaws in it, guys, but all in all, still a show quality, beautiful car. I think the hood release is so cool on these. As we go underneath the hood, they did a nice job on the firewall as well. They painted all that. As I mentioned before, this flathead, you pull the choke, you don't hit the gas at all, and just hit, push the button and this thing fires right up. Runs beautiful, nice and smooth. There's something about these old coupes that I just absolutely love. Um, with these guys, with these hood hinges, you just have to be super careful. Is it locked all the way? It's locked, yeah. Okay, so when you come in here, go lift it up a little bit. See so it's that little wheel, you just gotta make sure that's unlocked. You should be good to go. And if you don't, guys, and what happened with this before, it's got a little pain of perfection here. It puts too much pressure on that and just, so it's got a little pain of perfection there. You gotta be careful when you open and close that hood like that. Other than that, um, it's awesome. You really don't see too many 37s. No, you really don't. Most of them are all street rotted. Or fiberglass bodies. Yeah. You know, all steel body here. Uh, front bumper, bumperettes are in really good shape. Um, I love those teardrop headlights in there as well. Painted grill. And on the painted grill, we do have a little ship there. Yep. Like I said, guys, it's uh, it's kind of an older restoration, but uh, still gorgeous. And when they did it, they did a really, really nice job. They also went ahead and uh, you probably noticed the 12 volt battery. They switched it all over to 12 volt. Um, a lot of the gauges and stuff still work, and they also added a CD player in there with a working radio. So nice. um, you can listen to the tunes when you're cruising down the road on this uh, original 37. The paint and body on this car is absolutely gorgeous. Um, we're gonna have a couple tiny little chips, stuff like that, very, very small. But uh, there's another tiny one right here. But the main body work and the paint on this thing is super nice. Hood fits really good. Couple little chips way down low on that dog leg where it meets the door. Um, running board rubbers have all been restored as well. Same with the chrome along them. Bottom of the door, bottom of the rear quarters, excellent. Tiny little chip right here in the back of the lower quarter. It's got the dual mirrors, they've all been re-chromed. Um, the roof is perfect around the, the glass was all redone, new rubbers around the glass when the restoration was completed. I also like, uh, they went ahead with all the new cord around here and they went with a dual pinstripe, which really adds to it as well, Dalt. Yes, it does. I don't think you're gonna get a flathead running much better than that. Nice dual exhaust, nice bumper. And Tim buffed it all out and it's absolutely gorgeous shine on it. Yeah, it's a nice car. Very, very straight. It's got a little bump on the top of it. Yeah. Um, right along the edge here, guys, right in this seam, um, we got a little bit of buffing compound still in there and needs to be cleaned up. You wanna go ahead and open the trunk, lead dog? Inside the trunk's all nicely done as well. It's got the, uh, the correct wheel, brand new tire on it as well. Inside the trunk's all done nice, matte. Inside the floor is all painted correctly as well. Rust-free, all solid. Here's your jack and the pins and all that kind of stuff down in there. Very cool. So just a really nice build. As we go in here, guys, to the interior, um, doors open and close properly. Uh, 
Inside door panel is perfect. The armrest is nice. Inside pieces here are all repainted as well. Door panels match the seat beautifully. Headliners all been redone as well during the restoration. the back package tray was all done in the same kind of vinyl. Um, we've got some speakers back in here. Again, the, the interior was done very, it's older, but it's done very, very nicely. Dual speakers back there, nice carpet. Um, just fantastic. All the lights work like they should. As far as our gauges, gas gauge works. Carries great oil pressure, about 25 pounds of oil pressure after it's all warmed up. Temp gauge works, amp gauge works. It's got 35,049 miles on it. It's got an aftermarket JVC CD player and that works as well. Inside the glove box, we have a little information there in the radio. Um, looks like a little brochure of the old original owner's manual, 1937 does have a uh, uh, remote with the uh, CD player as well. So very, very nice interior, guys. I mean, this car is a car you can just jump right in and enjoy right now. Right now, yeah, I mean, gorgeous. Couldn't pick a better color. Dual exhaust sounds nice. Like you said, I mean, you can't get it to, to idle and run much better. <laughs> no, you really can't. Sounds fantastic. It's ready to go out and drive. We'll get our shadows out of our way here. Um, as far as the rear quarter panel goes, excellent condition as well as we go up and over the rear wheel well in behind the uh, um, front of the door. All nice and solid as well there. Bottom of the door is good. All the glass, all the, the rubbers and stuff around all the windows all fits good. Mirrors are nice and tight. We do have a couple of scratches down here in the lower part of the front fender. Just a couple minor ones there. Other than that, though, this is a great car. Another tiniest painted perfection right down there on the door. Corners of the doors are all rust free here. Driver's side door panel, seat, everything's just as nice as the passenger. Beautiful interior. It does have the add-on turn signals and they're working as well. I think this original radio is so cool. Oh my god. Isn't that neat? Oh shit. I didn't notice that earlier. Yeah. That is so cool. Obviously guys it's not working. Work, that would have come with a six volt system there, but just the V8 envelope using it to Yeah, it's really super cool. cool. Rear view mirror. That's super cool as well, works perfect. Um, what do we got here? Maybe a factory speaker? This probably was a factory speaker in here maybe? I had to guess. They did a nice job, even the, the headliner stuff just super soft. Yeah, they did a nice job. I'm gonna roll up your window a little bit. Look how smooth that goes off. Oh, I know. Wow. Very nice. This is, it's, guys, this is a turnkey car. I showed, I showed uh, some of the guys in the shop and they'd never seen this, but this is where you turn the headlights on. It's pretty cool. I like in the old Model A's had the same kind of thing. You had lights on, park lights here. Yeah, these are just cool. They're, I mean, they're they're a piece of history. And look at the temp gauge. I think that's so cool. How that's just like a thermometer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Awesome car, guys. I've never drove it. You said you have, and it drove pretty good, huh? Yeah, it did. Just always wanted one of these old cars. I remember maybe about 15, 20 years ago at an auction, an old farm auction, I had the opportunity to buy one. I don't know if it was a 35 or 37 coupe, but just super, super sweet cars. And that one needed a ton of work. And back in the day, that brought a ton of money. Yeah. And so, they're just, they're hard to find, especially. Most of them were just cut up or projects or, I remember back in the day, people were just digging these things all out of the groves and dirt and trees. And, and they chop them up and, and do like custom built to them. So it's just cool to see an original yeah. restored 
They're stored stuff. and original, but still with the radial tires and stuff like that. Made to drive. Yeah. Down the road at yeah. 60 miles. Converting it to 12 volts always super nice. Goes right into second beautifully. First time, my guys, I kind of forgot what I was doing driving this three speed. Speedometer works good. Like you said, 40 mile an hour, 45, 50. Look at this. No hands on the freaking wheel, guys. 55 mile an hour. Goes great down the road. I know. I was I was very surprised when I drove this. I was expecting it to drive like a you know we know 30 something Ford, but it just drives nice. I mean, it's tight. I mean, it doesn't bounce around. It's oh, it's quiet. smooth. It, yeah. I mean, it's got a ton of room inside for us. Yeah. I mean, we have a, a ton of room in here. Goes down the road great. That's a neat car. It'd be one that'd be a lot of fun to take to your old car show or cruise. Yeah. It's, it's kind of a good. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. So guys, this check it cool. out. One other thing, guys. Remember the air conditioning right here? See, I didn't know that. That's very cool, and that works. You just learned that about the air conditioning, dog. <laughs> as far as our brakes, guys, we'll go into that quick. The brakes work perfect. Um, stop really nice and straight. As far as, here's our going into gear, guys. Going into second, goes right in. I'll try to make one more shift here into third. Get the clutch in all the way this time. Just has a little, little tick there going in. Runs and drives awesome, guys. Check us out on our website, Coyote Classics. Let's make this little 37 for yours.